Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. And today's RoboBite, we wanna talk about the Tetrix Max All-Terrain Tire. Now the all-terrain tire is part of the motion category in the Tetrix ecosystem. They come by themselves along with hubs, one for a six millimeter axle or output shaft, and then one for the four millimeter axle shaft. So they come with what you need to be able to mount them on your robot. Their common purpose obviously is a wheel. They're used in a drive system. Uh, I have an example to show you what the comparison would look like for the uh, typical four inch tire that typically is used with Tetrix. So this goes to show a size differential between the two different tires that we have. It's a little bit taller, which is gonna give you more ground clearance. It's got a little bit of a squish to it. It has a foam insert that helps keep a little bit of its shape, but it does give a little bit uh, underweight so that it could create additional traction because of the bigger contact patch. Again, because of the aggressive tread under a uh, soft or loose type of ground conditions, it's gonna be give you more traction or if perhaps there's rubble or obstacles on the ground, it might give you more traction. Things that you could potentially use as an atypical use or things that you could do to this to make it uh, more beneficial, again, would take extra resources, but you actually could turn this into a pneumatic tire, which would change the dynamics of that for you. Some of the things to remember to watch out for, again, because we've got some squish, if you have a, a extra heavy robot, that's going to exaggerate that because it is not a pneumatic tire. It does have a foam insert to help keep its shape, but it's not pneumatic. So extra weight is gonna potentially squish that to the point where it's almost like a flat tire. There's a fine line between just amount of squish to give you extra contact patch, extra traction, or too much where it acts like a flat tire. Extra resources. Remember, you can always go to the pitsco.com and the product page for this particular item and everything you need to know about that will be at the bottom of that page in resource files, spec sheets, CAD files, everything you need to know would be available at pitsco.com. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.